A mainland Chinese journalist and freelance columnist, Chen Jieren, suspected of alleging that Henan Province's Shenyang City Party Secretary Deng Guangyan was involved in a major corruption cover-up and was convicted of picking quarrels and provoking trouble, extortion, illegal business operations, and bribery. He has been sentenced to 15 years in jail. His younger brother, Chen Weiren, was also sentenced. Guiyang County Court in Hunan Province announced on April 30th that it convicted Mr. Chen of picking quarrels and provoking troubles, extortion, illegal business operations, and bribery, and fined him 7 million yuan. His brother was sentenced to four years in prison for picking quarrels and provoking troubles and extortion and blackmail charges and was fined 1,000 renminbi. An associate, Liu Men, was exempted from criminal penalties after being convicted of picking quarrels and provoking troubles. Chen Jieren published an article online on June 25, 2018, accusing Deng Guangyan of gross misconduct and malfeasance. Mr. Chen went missing over the following days and was later confirmed to be in criminal detention with the police. According to the Constitution, he is not guilty. They should not even arrest him. The reality is that if there is anything against their interest, they will find a reason to punish you. The judging criteria of the CCP is not the Constitution and the criminal law, but its political purpose and political needs. They are beating the dog before the lion and putting the fear of God into Chinese people by giving Mr. Chen a severe punishment. The court claimed that since 2015, Chen Jirin has used the alias Internet Big V to publish false or negative information online to maliciously exaggerate certain mass incidents to attack and defame the CCP, the judicial organ, and its staff to instigate troubles and to extort public and private property. A Hunan netizen said that the official media reported that Chen Jirin had hundreds of millions of dollars in assets. The court did not confiscate all of his property. He did not appeal either, which means he was probably forced to compromise and plead guilty. Some of his posts are very sharp, but after a while, they are gone. He has exposed too many things. He attacked the secretary of the CCP. Even his brother was implicated, as well as his ex-wife. During the investigation process, he and his family were all in silence. He didn't even appeal. I think he compromised. It's reported by the Chinese Human Rights Defenders that Chen Jieren graduated from Tsinghua University Law School and had worked for several state media outlets, including Southern Weekend, China Youth Daily, Beijing Daily, and People's Daily, and published over 2,000 commentary articles. Chen was fired from China Youth Daily in 2003 for uncovering a prostitution ring involving students at Wuhan University, causing a scandal. He was demoted as editor-in-chief of China Philanthropy Times, for criticizing a government portal in 2006. And in 2011, he was sacked from his position at People's Daily Online's Jiangsu Window for too much criticism of the government.